Hi guys, welcome back to ETL QA Labs. Today we will talk about basic Unix command. So what I'm planning to do is I'm planning to create a playlist uh, that will consist of uh, multiple uh, Unix session. Uh, essentially it will have uh, from very basic to medium level of you know uh, experience level of questions right and uh, this will uh, the list will uh, contain from very basic the person who doesn't know anything to you know person who know most of the things in the unix world right so that kind of playlist i'm planning to create and uh, so you know this is the first session that uh, you know we are recording here and uh, later on i will you know uh, as we progress right we will continue with the session so i'm not going to cover how you are going to you know uh, install the uh, linux boxes etc i am going to start from the linux uh, or unix command basic command and then uh, you know we will uh, uh, see how we uh, proceed further but uh, this uh, sessions will be very important for any you know person who is working into etl whether he is from development background or the testing or qa background uh, doesn't matter it will be very helpful right so let's start then uh, right so what is uh, first question is what is unix right what why do we need unix so unix is the operating system like we have uh, windows operating system right so unix is the operating system which is basically uh, working um, uh, you know uh, to uh, which basically takes the input from the command line interface right so uh, this actually takes the input from user in terms of command so you have to type in the command on the terminal and then it will perform what you ask unix operating system to do it right it has a f i'm not going to cover all the features but then uh, most importantly it is a multi-user right unlike windows operating system unix have the multi-user uh, capability and multitasking uh, multiple tasks can run simultaneously on the unix box or unix system and uh, one very important thing is everything in unix is a file right so we will uh, cover that later part of time what are the diff later part uh, uh, of this uh, this video what are the different type of unix files files right so uh, that we will see second thing is what is unix command right we are talking about we have this is a command line interface uh, system that it takes right so what it does is how the user is going to provide the command right so command is nothing but uh, these are the reserve keyword and uh, most importantly I can say the any kind of instruction that you want uh, the Unix operating system to perform can be you know um, sending through the CLI or the command line interface that we will see is practically how do we do that but just for now just try to understand this theory a bit I know it's boring but then uh, try to understand that okay all the commands which we are going to type in will be in the lowercase there will not be any single character even uh, in in the entire command that uh, will be in capital letter so everything in lowercase it is also case sensitivity case sensitive so you can only type in lowercase so there are two things one is the command itself and then after that there are multiple options right so in terms of formatting that command what kind of output you need and all uh, filtered way of you know getting the output so those options are there right so uh, each command and the option will be separated by space right so that is what uh, is meant by this statement right and there uh, if there are multiple options uh, along with the command then multiple options can be you know uh, clubbed together that also we will see later right how do we do that when we will do uh, the practical of it now uh, what is the basic command right what are the basic command that we need to start so what we understand is we will uh, to cover this part uh, you know let's let's uh, understand what are the file system in unix operating system right so in windows we have uh, files like uh, uh, not file in in window we say the folder right 
wherein you keep all the content the folder can contain the folder or it can contain any kind of file right essentially the text file or csv file any kind of file right so those are called the folder in unix that folder is called as a directory all right so directory file we will see it later but for now you understand the folder in windows is equivalent to directory in the unix unix system ordinary file these are normal file which are actually containing the text right so content contents uh, file are the ordinary file and then there are uh, other set of file but uh, rest of them will be you know considered as a special file like device file special character file etc etc there are various different kind of files right which are uh, which comes under a special category of files special files right so these are the three different kind of files in unix operating system that we will see it now uh, uh, let's go straight back to our uh, unix box right so this is the linux box i'm just logging in so you see that as soon as i log in here i can see a terminal here right so here you see the dollar terminal so since this is you know uh, for me that's why it is coming as a dollar if i am the admin of this uh, box then it will come as a hash right so just for your information but now um, what we are going to do is we don't know how to interact with this right so what the first thing what we will do is we will try to see that you know who is the person who is logged into this right first of all so who am i basically there is a command called who am i if you type in it will tell you who you are right so what is your user id so our username so it says that username is hetu right which means i came to know my user login id is hetu okay now if i want to see who since uh, this unix is a multi uh, user uh, environment or operating system there is a possibility that many users will be working simultaneously together with you right so if you want to know who all are working or who are currently logged in on this system so there is a command called who that will give you all the information for now this is going to give me that i am the only person logged in because this is this uh, system is hosted on my machine and uh, literally there is no one working uh, on this but in the real time you will be finding a list of users who are logged in all right now uh, if you want to know that what is your location where are you right in which folder where are you so you can uh, use the command pwd which means present working directory so it will tell you what is your present working directory so you are actually working here slash home slash hetu right so this is the directory or this is the folder that's where you know you call in window so we are in home directory now the hetu is a home directory that's where i am in so pwd present working directory will tell you where you are currently and uh, then all right now i would be interested to know that you know what is the different so since uh, i am in hetu folder or hetu directory i would like to see what are the different you know content in my directory right so in windows we just go and click right on that particular folder and it will open up it might contain another sub folders it might contain different kind of files but here uh, since you cannot click here uh, so you have to uh, work uh, through the command line right so what you have to do is you have you have a command called ls that is nothing but list right so this command you type in and hit enter you see there are different different content right so desktop document etl testing picture public all these things are there but we don't know actually what are though they right so whether they are uh, you know uh, folder uh, are they are you know normal file etc so to know that we have we can give uh, argument here right so as i say we can give uh, option here so ls space then hyphen l r t all right so l means long listing which means it will give you other information about this right so who has created what is the date and other things 
R means it is going to reverse uh, and T is in the in terms of time, right? So the the file which are created at uh, means uh, latest will be coming at the bottom. So that's, that is what it means, right? So let's run this and see. Now you see that this is the file ETL testing. It is created on 12th of July, right? So this is the latest one. And then you see these are the older, right? Older files. So whole purpose of LS minus LRT is listing the file in the reverse order of the time that they are created. All right. So um, this is how you can see. And now one very important thing that you should notice is here the it is coming as a D, right? So D, RWX, RWX, etc. It is written, right? So these are nothing but permission that we will cover it later. But for now, you know that whether this is folder or file, normal ordinary file or it is character file. So if it is D, this means it is a directory. So as I told you, directory is nothing but it is a folder in Windows, right? Which means this particular directory can contain some more, you know, either directory or it can contain some files, right? So we will see whether, you know, uh, what we will do is we will try to create uh, one folder and then we will try to see how it works, right? So first of all, what I'm going to do is let me create one directory. So there is a command called mkdir and then directory I will say uh, practice uh, okay session one all right some name I will give you and make sure that when you create the um, folder or you know directory don't give the space otherwise it will end up creating two different file if I give a space here instead of underscore then it will create two directory all right two folders separate one is practice and other one for session one right so you have to make sure that it is together right so when i say it's done now let me check whether i have got it or not you see here it is created now what we will do is we will try to uh, go inside right so there is a command so in windows what you do you just double click and you are already inside right into that particular folder here what we are going to do is there is a command to go inside so the command is called cd which means change directory and then give the name of this particular directory or folder now i am inside this directory hope you are able to see let me clear the screen all right now if i say ls minus lrt i don't see anything because i am actually moved inside to the practice session that recently I have created this particular folder. So there is no content inside it is saying, right? What I'm going to see, I would also like to check whether I am into this directory or not. So when I say PWD, see it is showing that slash home slash uh, Hetu slash practice session one, right? So which means I am actually into this directory. Now I would like to do, um, I would like to create some content, right? Either I can create uh, some uh, directory like that. I created practice session one and uh, let's do it. Okay. MK DIR practice. That's it. I will say session one. All right. Practice session two, maybe. All right. I'll just do it like this and then when I say ls hyphen lrt so it shows that this is another directory or this is another folder that is created inside this folder right so even I want to navigate I can go to this folder saying cd and practice underscore session 2 right so I will go to that path right but uh, I don't want to do that now I want to tell you another thing so now you know that how to create a folder or how to create a directory now going forward I am going to call you I am going to call not a folder I will also always call the directory so you understand that directory when I say it is nothing but a folder in Windows right so what the directory contains directory can contain either subdirectory or I mean the directories or it can contain different kind of files so let's try to create one file 
uh, text file yeah i will write something maybe imply.csv some file i will create okay so let me see there is a command called um, cat so before that i will tell you what is the usage of the cat right so cat has three different kind of uses i'll show you here so cat is uh, full form of cat is concatenation right so it has three different functions that it can do one is it can create a file which means it can create an ordinary file ordinary file when i say it is uh, uh, you know the file that contains the actual uh, information right in actual data so it can contain the text file csv file excel file whatever you want right so that's up to you so it can create and then it can also display the content of the file and third thing that it does it if something is already there existing in the file it can append on top of it right so it will um, uh, it will not overwrite basically it can it can append on top of that file right so we will first we will try to create a file and then we will try to see what is there in this file and we can also append that these three things that we are going to see using the cat command right so we know already how to create the directory now we will see how do we create the normal file okay so we say cat and then this is the standard output redirection which means it is going to redirect i will say file one or i will say emp dot csv all right what it is going to do is when i say enter it took me uh, you know it is asking me to put something here and that will be redirected to this particular file right whatever i am going to type when i am going to close this it is going to put all the information here all right so let's say i'm going to say employee number employee name and department id all right there header i'm just putting it for your information now name is like sheetal all right and department 10 second is shivam department 20 3 daya department 30 4 maya department 30 again and 5 aryanshi department 50 all right so i am done with you know uh, putting three different line and uh, the data these are the comma delimited file right or csv file now what i would going to do is i'm just going to come out of it so i will hit control plus d then i will come out of it right now i want to see that you know that file has really been created or not right so i would say control ls hyphen lrt so you see that this is coming in different color because this is the folder or this is the directory you can go inside but then you see there is another file created we just created now right so this is starting with hyphen which means this is an ordinary file and it has a real content right the data so now i want to see what is there inside so here i have done it right and uh, i really don't know what is there inside the file uh, let me clear the screen now i will see what is there inside this file right so in normal case in windows what we do we say double click and then we will go to that file and we will see the content right either excel file or any text file whatever but now here since we cannot click it we have a command the same command that i said to display the content is the cat command and then simply i will give you the file name here all right so emp file name all right when i say cat and then uh, space and then uh, file name it will give the content you see here we got the beautiful content here right so everything is stored here and uh, this is what we typed in just now right now there might be case that you know i need to append some more data into the same file so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just type in something like six and uh, robert robert 30 7 pankaj 50 
all right now i'm going to just come out of it now again i want to check it what is there let me clear it all right see now if i say cat emp sorry all right see there are the new um, two new rows that we have added and they are reflected here okay so these are the three functions of cat that we have covered quickly now what we will do is we will try to uh, we have already done this mkdir right so we will not do it because this is to create the directory and inside directory we use the cat to create the files ordinary files we also saw the content using the cat file and appended the file as well now now what we are going to do is since all right yeah i think this is what pretty much i wanted to cover right so just to recap it what all the things we just learned right so what is unix a little bit brief about unix right what is operating system why it is uh, created second is the command how do you write the command right so as i said that uh, the command should be having spaces so like this is command and then whatever i am typing it here these are this entire thing is options right so options can be clubbed together if i say ls hyphen only l all right then also it is going to give you but you see that the order of imply so the the latest one is coming on top right when i say ls l r t all right it is going in reverse order see imply is coming down imply dot uh, emp dot csv is coming down i mean uh, in the reverse order this is this is more useful to read it right because uh, uh, let's say you have 1000 uh, you know different files then you would not so when your control will come down only right after executing the command so you can easily see that you know what is just displayed on the bottom of uh, the output right you cannot just scroll up and see what is there so this is the very purpose of using this ls lrt reverse in the time and long listing all right and you see every command that we have used it for example we have used the psp wd every command is case sensitive and all of them are in lower cases right so hope this video uh, is useful for you and you at least uh, you know uh, could uh, uh, could make out something what is unix and uh, you know how to start with i think uh, this is very basic one but i think it is worth for the beginners who really uh, have uh, do not have any experience uh, working on unix environment so we will uh, you know continue uh, the next session from there and uh, see you in the next session for until then bye